so guys welcome back to another episode of Newcastle Rebuild I'm rebuilding Newcastle in FIFA 16 trying to avoid relegation in reality they got relegated in this season I'm trying to help them get into Europa League rather than uh, getting relegated so my previous game was a defeat to Arsenal 3-0 away defeat now I've got a game against West Ham I'm sitting 10th in the table but anyways big game against West Ham I must win and hopefully I do win and my team for today I'm pretty happy with the team let's go and we are up against West Ham United at St James's Park I'm only playing home matches remember if you've not seen the previous two videos uh, related to this season, this campaign, do show to go back to my channel and have a look at them and you will uh, find out this full two episodes prior to this was amazing. Halfway in the season, Newcastle messed up, kicking off. He's on the tunnel again. Mitrovic gets to Cissé and he's Cissé oh he doesn't get to the ball and nil nil still at St James's Park West Ham comfortable defending as for yet here's Mark Noble on the ball Lanzini against Williamson finds John Collins and Cochini gets it cleared back come West Ham Papa Cissé gets it cleared here's Mitrovic Mitrovic finds Zobaton, no he doesn't and a clearance comes in from Coyote and throw in to West Ham. Well, it might have been deflected a bit so anyway throw in to West Ham is Cresswell. Getting chased by Cissé. Who well, outpaces him. Andy Carroll with the goal for West Ham United 1-0 1-0 to West Ham at St James's Park against the run of play Andy Carroll scores against his former club Mitrovic, Oberton oh, Foul Foul by Mark Noble or Mitrovic the veteran is sent off with a double footed tackle. He studied uh, Mitrovic and he sent off Cissé with the free kick. Poor free kick by Cissé, West Ham get it cleared into the last 15 minutes of the game. And Ikun Sindion finds his two more, Mitrovic, Kolbak on the ball. He doesn't get a crossing this time and here's uh, Dumit finds Orbiton. Sim Dion offers support. Cross comes in. Mitrovic, no. Cissé. And Newcastle get it. To West Ham get it cleared. He's two more. This time West Ham should get it cleared, yes. And Javi Hernandez into the stoppage time. Oh, a crunching tackle by a callback on Hernandez should be a red. Yes, it is. 
second red of the game and Jack Holbach has been sent off and a defeat to Newcastle yet again at home to West Ham United this time Andy Carroll with the goal in the 70th minute now we are up against Spurs I think that's an away game or a home game, I'm not quite sure, Aston we'll have to simulate it if it's uh, at home. One. So we have Norwich sold Iose Perez Chelsea to Palermo Everton one. Liverpool one. Manchester United and we will two. have to get some Newcastle players United in. Nil. West Ham United one. Southampton one. West Bromwich Albion one. So we are offering Zakaria Abaru, Abarui to, what team is it, uh, to a French club, I think in the 7th division, 6th uh, division, 2nd uh, division, sorry. And we are going for this guy, right back. How much we should we offer him? Let's offer him 0 0.8 million. So he's in our shortlist as well. So hopefully we'll get him as well in our team for the next few months up until the end of the season. It's Morgan Alfatamo. Alfatano and Romain Alfatano, probably his brother, I'm not quite sure. He's a left back, Thierry Ambrose, striker, Juan Andreu, Benjamin Andre. Uh, I think we should go for him, Nuka, uh, Norwich player. He's on form as well, so we'll have to. Let's see if we can offer a new a Norwich 1 million under player. Who have not been using Woodman. So we'll see if uh, Norwich accept my offer for this player. He's 34, 33. Right back. I need a centre mid. I think we should go for this player from Lille, Alex Arau. He looks a bit good, so I'm going to offer him 1.3 million under player if they accept. Adam Armstrong. So he's going to be swapped by this uh, player from Lille hopefully we'll be able to get him by uh, the end of the transfer window so we have approached four players let's see if we can get them so into the season and uh, our fixtures we've got a cup game against West Ham a cup game against uh, Tottenham Hotspur and we've only got a week before the transfer window closes and a home game against Manchester United. We've got an away game against Everton, away to 
home West Brom, away to Watford and away to Chelsea in two games in Europa League. Hopefully we'll get a trophy this season as well. So we are into the fourth round of the FA Cup. So far in our season, we have had uh, no transfers and hopefully we'll be able to sign some players this time around. Team stats, let's go for team stats. No, actually player stats in the FA Cup, Capital One Cup, Champions Cup. Oh, Hulk uh, leading the race with six goals in Europa League. Soldado for Villarreal. In the Premier League is uh, Wayne Rooney. Our highest goal scorer Mitrovic is on eight goals, two behind uh, Wayne Rooney. Hopefully he'll get there by the end of the season. So anyways, we've got a game against Spurs. Hopefully we can sign a player. Transfer accepted. So we have managed to sign four players. Let's see if we can sell some players. So that's very good. We signed four players. Let's sell a player now. Kuluchini, Janma. These are the players I use regularly. So I'm going to put this guy. Uh... Uh, to transfer list yes so he's on transfer list he should be on transfer list for him on transfer list it's only 15,000 pounds so, so that's uh, that's very cheap 8,000 pounds oh sorry that's the wage so a weekly wage is 8,000 pounds I've not been offering him as well. Overall, he's 70, so below uh, Oberton, 69. How old is he? He's 26. He should have been at least 74. Really good player. Armstrong. Let's see if we can get rid of him. Adam Armstrong, did we just sign him? I'm not quite sure. Who did we sign just now? No, we've not. Have we got our new signings in the team? Let's go and check. No. So if we have had our transfer accepted, then how come what's going on? So the transfer have been accepted, but I'm not quite sure how to get the player into the team. So we'll have to offer them contracts as well. So £5,000 for uh, this Alexis guy. A Norwich player. I'm going to offer him 8000 Yes, so he's in as well. Tony. Tony. What's his name? Sorry, Tondre, Tony Andreu. And Robin. Robin Aguilera. Robin Agula, I'm going to offer him £5,000. Sorry, I can't pronounce their names. They're different. 
never heard of them before and this guy from Lille no sorry the second division so I'm gonna offer him 3,000 pounds he looks a bit good with his hairstyle so anyways we are in and we have managed to sign some players let's check if they accept our personal terms so we have to fix some Jack Colback uh, replaced by Anita and I think that should be enough so Newcastle up against uh, Tottenham Hotspur in the FA Cup fourth round so we've got our teams warmed up Oh, Son scores straight away in the fifth minute. Tottenham 1 0 up. Mitrovic. He's been hospitalised. Oh, we've passed the half time mark. Newcastle need an equaliser in the last 20 minutes. If there's no Mitrovic, who's going to score? So, match is ended. Newcastle defeated by Spurs. At home in the FA Cup fourth round. The Football Association Challenge Cup. Arsenal 4, Watford 0. Bolton Wanderers 0, Crystal Palace 0. Bristol City 1, Leighton Orient 1. Chelsea 2, Manchester United 2. Crew Alexander Counter one, offer received. West Albion, one. So, wage he wants 33. Hotspur, he wants 4,000. So, I'm going to offer him 4,000. So, Queen's he's. Rangers, one, let's see if he can. Whole city, and this guy wants 15,000 wage. Swansea City, one. Crazy offer, isn't it? One. From 5,000 to 15,000, he wants. Southampton, two. Huddersfield, ten. And now, this one. guy also wants 15,000. Rotherham United, two. Doesn't we matter, so we're gonna one. get players. If Brentford, you want something, two. you have to pay for it. That's the moral of the story the here. And how much does he United, want? Nil. He wants 7,000. Okay, two. so I'm gonna offer him 8,000 and 10% for every goal he scores. 7,000 and 10% for the goals he scores. Hopefully, he gets some, some goals. contract offer accepted and we have landed three players instead of four we can uh, I have reviewed your contract with my agent and we cannot agree conditions understand club and blah 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 so he's declined it so we got three players in and we need a replacement now for Mitrovic who's obviously injured and probably not play to the end of the season let's see who we can get this time let's go for some English players we want a striker who can bang in 10 goals at least by the end of the season. Gabiak Bunloho, yeah, we can get him. Yeah, we'll have to offer him big money. Six million for Gabiak, eight million, sorry. Eight million for Gabiak Bunloho. Hopefully Gabi Akmunlaho can bang in some goals for us. 42 year old Gareth Ainsworth. My word, I've not seen anyone older than him in the game. Akinfeya, 33. I'm not going to approach him. Chupa Akpom, I think he was former Arsenal man. Deli Ali.
Shall we go for Deli Ali? He's not playing in Spurs anyway, so let's go and find this guy. Um, I'm gonna have to offer him big money. 14 million to Spurs. Hopefully they accept my offer. And if they do, we should be finishing in the top, uh, in the, what do you call it, Europa League spot. Calvin Andrew, Danny Andrew. These are all players from the English division, I think, not just English necessarily. Charlie Austin, yes, if I can get this guy from QPR, I'm going to offer him. 8 million, hopefully we, we can land this guy, he can score 10 goals for sure. But basically now because, uh, uh, what's the strike, uh, Mitrovic is injured, I'm going to replace him with someone who can actually score 10 plus goals by the end of the season, which half of the season is remaining. Patrick Bamford. From Crystal Palace. Let's see if he can get this or we not. He's not on the transfer list, anyways. Ross Barkley. If we can get this guy. Nine million, yes. So we're going for some big names here. Hopefully we can land a bit uh, land a few. Garth Barry, shall we bring him back to the uh, back to Newcastle? Let's see if he can do that. I'm gonna offer him six million. Darren Ben. Let's see if he can come in. So, so I'm going to offer him 3 million. He's a bit old and he's playing for Derby County. So hopefully we can land him. Berahino, what a player he was. He disappeared off this radar. I'm going to offer him 7 million. But basically, I'm, basically I'm offering the club this money and uh, the wage is going to be decided if the player wants to come in so he's in let's go back and see if we can get any German players in He's a centre mid. Let's see if we can get this guy from Besiktas. He looks good. I'm going to offer him 3 million. Bart Stuber. Yeah, shall I go for him? Yeah, might as well go for this guy as well. I'm gonna offer these lot four million and a player. Dummy, no, these are regulars in here, so I'm not gonna change the regular team. I'm gonna put this Bemba guy. So he's he's offered to buy in Munich. Hopefully if we can land this guy and we need to go for this left back as well. Looks good with his hair cut. 
And I'm going to offer him 2 million and a player. Woodman, yeah, might as well offer them Woodman. So these are the players I'm offering. Hopefully we can land a few. Ballas, Derman, Barry, Becker, Robin Becker, right back, Andreas Beck. He's 83. Oh, his value is 20 million and I'm offering so less value 20 million. Last bended value is 15 million, 14 million. So let's go and see how many players we're gonna get. So since Mitrov is injured, we need to sign some players. Uh, transfer offer unacceptable, of course. He was 20 million, and I've only offered him a few. A few million so here is the transfer offer accepted for uh, which player Muhammad Bahdadi so let's see if we can offer him some wage he's currently getting I'm gonna offer him double his I'm gonna double his wages currently getting one and a half thousand I'm offering him three and a half so Bastaba Bus uh, transfer has been rejected. Transfer offer rejected. Transfer offer accepted for Berahino. And he's getting 35. I'm going to give him 45, 44. Let's see. So if we can learn these players, I'm telling you, Newcastle are going to get there. So Darren Bent, Gareth Barry accepted. 40 million, um, 40,000, sorry, I'm going to give him 48. He's a big name in English football. He's done an uh, awful lot for Newcastle. And then he went to Aston Villa. And then he went to uh, Liverpool. Darren Benton is getting 30, 30, so I'm offering him 36k a week. Another big name in the Premier League history. So... Unacceptable Spurs. Ooh, we have reviewed and we accept your conditions for 14 million. So if he's getting seven, I'm on offering him 12. Hopefully, he offer, uh, accepts my offer and comes to Newcastle. Aston Villa, Gabi Bunloha, but uh, yeah, I'll go for Gabi Bunloha. He's getting 25. I'm offering him 31. Hopefully we can learn this guy as well. That's James's Park. Alexis Arau. Yes, I'm gonna offer this. Confirm. He's in. He's in. So we've got two players in. Another player in from Norwich. So three players already in. Oh no, accept offer. Oh my god, I've done something wrong there. Accept offer, yes. So he's coming to Newcastle and he's coming as well. And the third one from Norwich. Tony Andreo 
Contra. No, he's in anyway. So let's go and see how many players that we're gonna actually get. An update from Germany. Counter offer received for better. He know he wants fifty thousand. Darren Ben wants thirty six. So yes, accept Darren Ben. So he's coming into the team. Agbon Lahore as well. Some old horses of the Premier League coming to Newcastle and Delhi Ali, the biggest player. This team is gonna finish high. Anyway, so new signing arriving. Yes, counter offer for Berahino. Contract offer accepted. Transfer offer accepted. Okay. So anyways, so he has been accepted. So now we go to see how many players are we going to get into the Newcastle team. Transfer offer. Accept offer and he is gone. Charlie Austin, one of the players shortlisted being looked for Villarreal, potentially Villarreal could approach him and pre-contract agreement. New son, Garak Barry coming in, Deli Ali coming in, Gabi Agbon and Darren Bent. Bastian Schweinsteiger, counter offer received. I think I'm not going to go for uh, Berahina because he's asking too much, 50,000. We've got one big player, so we don't need another big game against uh, United, and hopefully, hopefully we can get into the Europa League. Delhi Ali 67 is should have been higher than this. So I'm going to put in all the new players that have come in, replace them with the old ones Gareth, uh, Gabi Agbunlaho, and Darren Bent. I'm going to put him on the left wing. Obertor Delhi Ali uh, we, we'll have to put in Gareth Barry as well into the team we got two how are we gonna put Gareth Barry yeah we put Gareth Barry there CC Ben Abunloho Barry to replace him with uh, so he's there Pick Marvo off, bring in Andreu and this guy as well. So we've got the players in. Hopefully, we can finish where we wanted. He's off. Jan Ma is gonna play. Bemba, Arons, Puwa. Anita, yes. So that's the team. For the second half of the season, hopefully, we can get our results as well. We're struggling in 13th position. We'll have to finish. We are 13 points behind Liverpool. Not 13, sorry. 8 points behind Liverpool in the 7th position. 10 points behind Chelsea in sixth position a minimum target is seventh position so hopefully we can get there so some debutants here as St. James's Park for Newcastle five players making their debut hopefully it pays off for the manager
Hi there, everybody. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me, and we're at St James's Park in Newcastle. And it's Barry. Finds Bunlaho. Oh, that might have been a foul as well on Delhi Alley. Newcastle looking very attacking. And it's Lukaku. They have to defend there. And Williamson did. Then he blinked. Lukaku shoots into the top corner and Newcastle are behind us at James's Park Romelu Lukaku and Neffer from outside the box scores United 1 Newcastle nil. And this time, oh, offside. Stephen Taylor is offside. Into the last five minutes of the first half. We should be getting Alexis Sanchez as well. He's one player that I want to play. I want him to play for uh, Newcastle. So after this FIFA 16 rebuild series, I'm going to Pro Evo 12 and I'm going to uh, be trying to help a country win the Europa, uh, UEFA Euros 2012. In reality, Spain won it 4-0 against Italy. England lost to Italy on penalties, Perlo with the Panenka penalty. But uh, so the next series of FIFA uh, of uh, Pro Evo 11 is going Pro Evo 2012 is going to be, and I'm going to be choosing a country to win the Euro Euros Euro 2012. It won't be a league. So it's just be a international trophy. Hopefully, you like my videos and do subscribe to my channel. Anyways, back to this one. Newcastle trailing to Manchester United. Bunlaho missing the penalty on his debut. Here's Antonio Valencia. Cross comes in. Lukaku and... Dumit gets it cleared. Oh, what a ball. Darren Ben should score. Oh, what a goal. He scores on his debut. Darren Ben levels Newcastle. 1 1 at Sir James's Park. He was quick. Phil Jones should have known he's quick. Couldn't bring him down. But he beats De Rea and he's 1-1. One, one. Some money paying off for Newcastle. I was just uh, thinking if uh, Agbunlaho is affected by the penalty in his sport. I don't really think because he's one of the old timers in the Premier League and uh, you know, he's one of those players who's very positive. So hopefully he's not affected by it. Darren Ben loses out to Danny Blind. Should be offside Lukaku. No, he's not. Keeper comes out and Lukaku makes a mess of it into the last 15 minutes Barry Manchester United want to make a change now Lukaku Chance now for the pass 
And Jim Crow makes a save. Corner to Manchester United in the last 10 minutes. Like Bunnoho, I'm sure he can run the whole pitch on his own. He does. He gets past one defender. Hold back. Oh, Tony Andrews scores on his debut. From Norwich. He just landed five minutes ago and he scores the uh, water run it was from Gabriel Bunglo. I'm sure he paid off his penalty miss there. Oh, another debut turn and this time he scores. Daria beaten. 2-1 to Newcastle United. The stadium erupted there. Only they can hang on to this win. Fellaini doing well there. Cuccini. Oh! Marcos Rojo hits it well over the bar. Actually, he was offside. Goal kick and free kick given. And Manchester United last attack of the game. Oh, they've scored! It's Marcus Rojo! Equalises! Manchester United 2 2 in the last minute. Newcastle defender looking for offside flag. But poor defending, poor marking there from Kuruchini. And Rojo denies United Newcastle's first victory with the new signings and his full time 2-2 two, two. bottom of the table Bournemouth with 11 points and then reading up the table second bottom Sunderland with 15 points with a game Less in hand on the team time some player third again. bottom Leicester City with 22 points fourth bottom Watford with 23 points fifth bottom West Bromwich Albion with 25 points but only behind on goal difference I'm going for Sanchez if I can get him from Manchester United. Alexis Sanchez transfer offer is going to be huge. I'm offering him 30,000, 40. No, we don't have that much. I'm gonna offer him 30 and give them a player. Papa Cisse. Yeah, he can go. I think there's no point offering someone very expensive and not going to be using him so Pedro Sanchez Cisse is good left mid So Luis Sanchez coming in from Argentina. Hopefully we can get him Carlos Sanchez. Diego Sanchez goalkeeper. We need a, a an attacking player. 36 year old. No, we're not going for the 36 year old. Let's see if we can get some Brazilians into the squad today.
We need someone at the centre back, so we're going for this former Chelsea man, Alex. Three million. We're offering him. Uh, we're offering Newcastle. Uh, we're offering us uh, AC Milan, and giving him this player, Ferguson. You can afford this player if you just automatically. I've not got any transfer budget remaining. So we've only got two million remaining, so I think we can't find, uh, we can't sign any players. So, anyways, let's go and simulate last eight minute, last eight hours of the transfer window. Oh, they've uh, accepted my offer. Hopefully, I can get him in. If he's getting three, I'm paying him five. Agnaldo, the Brazilian. Luis Sanchez, if he's getting two, I'm offering him four. If you want something, you have to pay for it, and he is going to come in. Hopefully, Ross Barkley transfer approach. Everton accepted an offer of 16 million for his service. Three million. Bash to back. Fifty five million spent from Arsenal. Counter offer received Sanchez off wanting nine thousand. Okay, I'm offering him nine thousand. So hopefully we can get him in. Then uh Agnaldo wanting I don't know how much he was, so I'm offering him six. Hopefully I'll be able to land him in into the last six hours of the transfer window counter offer received so this youngster wants eight thousand a week so anyways I'm if he if he wants eight thousand he's after perform at least worth eight thousand so hopefully we can get him in into the last five hours counter offer received again counter offer denied okay so we just have to leave it Ozil going to buy in Munich So what is it? One of the players shot is employed by him only has to seven hundred know. Okay. Anyways, I'm not going for a player. If he want it does if he doesn't want to come, sack him. Boateng coming to Chelsea for fifty thousand. So let's check the top deals done in this transfer market. Global Transfer Network How do I check the best uh... So top deals done this uh, transfer market 50 million for Jerome Boateng to Chelsea Arsenal sold uh, Ozil for 
37 million and Pastore to Arsenal for 32 million into the last two hours of the market into the last one hour total spent is 200 million We are still struggling in 14 position. We love to win our games. Hopefully we can get some victories here. Our squad does look dangerous. So Newcastle against West Bromwich Albion at St James's Park comes live on EA TV. Ricky Lambert, West Brom, from Southampton or is it from Liverpool? Oh, what a save from the newcomer Daniel uh, Dali Ali. That is a cheap piece of play to give the ball away like that. Darren Bent on the turn. Oh, what a goal! Darren Bent, second goal in second game. One nil to Newcastle. Six minutes into the game. Newcastle one nil up. After that draw, which was very, very well contested earlier in the season, the visiting team will come here, hoping at least to be able to do the same again. But this is a hard place to win at, isn't it? Ooh, Colchini keeper gets it. A free kick to Newcastle might have been offside, not quite sure. Anyways. West Brom's got a good team as well here. Nasser Chadley, Johnny Evans. And a cross comes in. Crow saves. Goes up for the corner. Ricky Lambert, the new signing. And it's Cissé, oh, hits it wide, should have made it two there. Great ball it was from Darren Bent. And it's Cissé. And he a bundle half. Should make it two, and he does. Scores this time. He missed the penalty on his debut, assisted a goal for Andre, uh, Tony Andrew, and he's now scores 2 0 to Newcastle on the stroke of half time. They are running away with it here. And half time, the St James's Park 2 0 to Newcastle. So we're all set for the second half. 
clear from Alan McAnally, who's got news of a sending off in the game he's watching. It's a red card for the home team. The ten men. 47 minutes, please. It means 1-0. Interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Good take by the goalkeeper, but no pressure on him. Oh, great save and Cuccini. Oh, very tidily done by Newcastle, but risky there is Dan and Bent. Already scored along with Abdullaho. Oh, Newcastle, of course, tuning up. Another chance to see Gabriel Agbon the Hors go. Read that well in midfield to get them on the ball. Lambert, great tackling technique to win the ball cleanly. Oh, no. Dan and Ben looking for CC on the right hand side, but a defender a comes in the way. Vicky Lambert. <laughs> Ooh, rough tackle there. But Newcastle get away with it. And here's Papa Cisse looking for support. Does he get Darren Bent in? Yes, he does. And it's a corner. Thank you very much, Alan. Corner given to Newcastle. Midway through the second half. A Bunlaho to take it. And over the bar. Teammates who are clearly on the same wavelength. Five more minutes here. Oh, and the consolation from uh, West Bromwich Albion. They scored at St James's Park and no more clean sheet for Tim Cole today. It's James Maradison with the goal. Off we go again, 2 1. Play down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. Ooh. A corner given to Newcastle. Jean-Marc, Cuccini, Newcastle holding possession and that's it. That's it for the game. Newcastle 2, West Bromwich Albion 1. Three points in the bag for Newcastle. Is that money well spent? Mm. Too early to say anything. Two games, four points. They should have beaten Manchester United, but they let the goal in the, in the end. And uh, one, they let the one. two points slip Liverpool, away from them. Nil, Other than Sunderland, that, great nil. start from the debutants. We've got an away game against Watford. Should be Thriller, should be beating them. And Newcastle come away with another win. Cisse and Darren Bent on the score sheet. Pereira with the goal from uh, Watford. The Barclays. Oh, Tim Krull, what a save. Paris is over the bar. Bordeaux coming on the attack, looking the better team in the first quarter of an hour. He is Roland, and Tim Poole gets it there. Very risky. Oh, what a save by Tim Krul again! Dumit. Cross comes in. Ooh. 
He gets it clear, the defender. Here's Kurochini. Williamson. Williamson. Newcastle on the front foot Looking for the first slow. time. Oh, and here's Darren Bent. Corner comes in. Oh, poor effort from Stephen Taylor. Taking the heat out of the moment, the ball back to the goalkeeper. If there's one player who's not had an influence on Newcastle's performances or the goals, is Rao. I think uh, he needs a bit of time. He's young and uh, hopefully. He gets his goal on an assist because he's a midfielder. And here comes Abunlaha. Abunlaha! Oh, and who is it? Rao, he does score. Just mentioning, in, mentioning the youngster, and he does score for Newcastle this time. Oh, great coincidence. Rao oh, finally scores. On the stroke of half time, Newcastle lead Bordeaux by a goal. And we were just talking about this youngster not scoring or assisting in the first few games as he's played, but this time he just manages to score on the rebound, but all count, remember. And half time at St James's Park, Newcastle 1, Bordeaux 0. Good first time done. So if any of you guys are watching my video, the rebuild, retro rebuilds, please do a shorter uh, comment in the comment area of which uh, game and which team you want rebuild of because there's so many ideas that we can do retro, retro rebuilds and my plan is to go to Pro Evo 12 and do the Euros but I'm uh, deciding between England and Italy who should I pick to win the Euros because I'm not going to pick Spain because they won it so I'm going to recreate the scene of Euros 2012 in Pro Evo 12 to see which country actually wins it. By the way, this is my third episode of a Newcastle Rebuild. The first two episodes are in my uh, YouTube channel. Please do subscribe to my channel and get updates of every video as soon as I upload them. So hopefully you don't miss an action. Is Ben? Oh, what a ball! Cisse misses his chance. And Newcastle let Bordeaux off the hook and he's a bundle hole. Darren Bent oh, loses out to the defender. Colocini comes it again. Missed pass from the Argentinian. <coughs> and Williamson gets it away. Only to Diego Contento. I think he's the one who played for uh, Bayern Munich. Didn't he? Oh, what a chance! Tim Krul was beaten there. But he went past the post, and Darren Bent is going off for Abarau, and Anita on for Arau, who scored. But we need a bit of uh, defensive actions now. And Tim Crow gets the ball rolling. Stephen Taylor, Newcastle looking for the second one. Cisse chasing. Ooh, tackle. Should be yellow. 
No cards given to C6. Yeah, I think they recognize that it has been a really good performance, but still a bit of work to do. But not given. And he's a Bordeaux on the attack. Last chance may be Tim Kroll oh, and should be full time Newcastle just slowing the game down in the last chance. They wasted and at Bundahar full time at St James's Park Newcastle come away with an important win. Go from a row on the stroke of half time. Hopefully we can go through into the next round. Euro League. Saint Etienne two, and elect two. Bayer Leverkusen. Four. Away game against Spirit Everton. One. Hopefully, Schalke with new signing, one. we can win Athletic the simulating three, games as well. Liverpool one. Baines Zenit, missed the penalty one. in the first Malmo, minute. Nil. Manchester City one. And Neville, Everton have scored. Two. Theo Tottenham Walcott. Hotspur, one. Newcastle United one. Bordeaux nil. Olympic Marseille one. -OK, Come on, one. Newcastle. One. Everton 2 0, Miralash. And one. they have beaten Sabatlis Newcastle. Even with the new signings, Newcastle couldn't win away from home. We've got this game against. Oh, Gareth Barry. He's off for a long time, I think. So. Who am I going to put in there? Anita, yes, Anita is there. Jack Colback, yes, I've not played him for long. So Anita gets in the squad away game against Bordeaux. Remember, we we're winning 1 0 in the first leg, and we've lost 2 0. Diabate with both goals, lost to Bordeaux out of the Europa League. Euro League. Atletico Madrid 2, Schalke Can't have three two. defeats in a row Fiorentina again. One. Bayer Here we against one. Chelsea Bordeaux and Conte two. with the goal. Newcastle, Newcastle beaten yet again. English League Cup final. Manchester United 3. Swansea City 1. injured now. Premier League. Chelsea, gets one. in ahead of uh, United, nil. Liverpool 0. Manchester City 1. So what do those results the mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Manchester United with 56 points. Away Second, game to Stoke. Hopefully we're not losing four in a row now this time. And we have lost four in a row. <laughs> so funny. Even signing so many players. We've managed to lose four games in a row. We are now five behind our target Spurs in the seventh position. Hopefully we can get there by the end of the season. So that's it for this episode. Next episode I'm going to be finishing this career mode with Newcastle and starting a new one in Pro Evo 12 with an international club try to win them euros i'm opting for england and italy because they were on the they were the unlucky ones so hopefully you watch my videos like and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye